There are just some films which you can see had their great idea first and worked backwards from that angle, even if that idea didn't hold enough water to carry the narrative. Sometimes that great concept can disappear altogether under a garbage pile of terrible acting, shoddy special effects, and awful dialogue, with everything else around that exceptional hook making you forget that the movie had, at one point, limitless potential. And that's what the films on this list are, examples of great ideas gone bad. But before we begin, if you like any of these films, then f***ing bully for you, I really don't care. What I'm talking about is that these films never truly delivered on their wicked, awesome premises. With this in mind, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 terrible movies that wasted a truly brilliant concept. Number 10. Next. Next had an ace idea that Nicolas Cage could see into the future, but only two minutes ahead. The core concept of limited clairvoyance is a fantastic one, and gives the protagonist just enough power so that they're still a threat, but not so much power that the movie movie becomes a cakewalk. Yet the problems with Next were many. The special effects look like they were done in one weekend, the characters are one note, and that ending sure is one big middle finger we wished we could have seen coming before the film began. Basically, it boils down to the last third of the film being Cage having an extended vision, breaking the rules on his powers and entering into a ridiculously lazy storytelling device. Bad times. Number 9. The Invention of Lying when Ricky G, aka the man responsible for some of the best British comedy this side of God giving us hilariously bad teeth said that he was going to helm a comedy film in which he was the first person to try lying, people were obviously intrigued. Yet the problem with the film came from the fact that Gervais, whilst being a master of words and wit, seemed to struggle with what lying actually is. He seemed to view it as people telling you exactly what they are thinking, which is a totally different concept. It made people seem really stupid and often talk without being prompted. If it stayed true to the core concept, then the film could and would have been a lot deeper, and not been able to hide behind cheap jokes to fill the runtime. Number 8. Before I Wake If the thought of a child's dreams and nightmares coming to life while they sleep sounds like a good horror film, well, Too Late Before I Wake took the concept and butchered it. This idea actually holds great promise, as it's quickly established that both positive and negative dreams can become reality, meaning that there's a tension built as to whether the child is happy or not come nap time. The film unfortunately falters though, as it becomes very stock towards the end, and the concept seems to betray its own rules, bringing back the couple's first and more importantly dead son, and never asking why this new child would dream about this in the first place. It all falls to the wayside as a way of providing scares rather than focus on this otherworldly power which would have likely provided a less cliché experience. Number 7. Waterworld Now lauded as one of the biggest cinematic flops, Waterworld holds, at its core, a fantastic idea. A world on the brink of survival where the ice caps have melted and all that's left is a scattering of humans fighting for resources. Yet the film failed because it was just so rife with odd choices. For example, the mariner, who's let's not forget, possesses gills which allow him to breathe underwater, is hunted down by a human settlement because of his mutation. Surely this is ridiculous as it sounds exactly like the skill set that would be useful if, say, I don't know, your world was covered in water? Then there's the acting, the overall level of cheese, and the fact that a lot of screen time is dedicated to watching ship poles extend and wheels get turned. All of which mean that you're ignoring the main concept, which was pretty damn excellent. Number 6. The Purge now, I'm not saying that The Purge's central theme was clever, as the idea of the US just all agreeing to give up crime except for The Purge Night is pretty ridiculous. However, that doesn't mean that it's not a very fun idea. You could say it's a bold political statement, but then again the film drops this pretense and soon it becomes a standard home invasion film. The concept of seeing different crimes taking place all over the city would be kind of amazing. A sort of Canterbury Tales of Crime, but that's not what we got, which led to a bit of disappointment in viewers. Thankfully, the film's two sequels explored the effect of Purge Night on a much broader scale, but neither have been able to replicate the original idea to its fullest extent. Number 5. Chappie We've seen plenty of artificial intelligence movies over the years, but an artificial intelligence movie about a crime-fighting robot who's raised by gangsters? Now that is a cracking premise. Yet the film suffered at the hands of behind-the-scene antics. As much as I love them, Deantwoord were apparently notorious dickbags, and the narrative was chopped a lot by producers, meaning that Chappie asked a lot of interesting questions, but failed to answer any of them. I think the real issue was that the film was centering around a very serious conversation, but it was an overtly silly film, which is a real shame as I I really wanted to love it. Number 4. After Earth Ooh, if there was ever a film which showed us that even Hollywood legends such as Will Smith can falter every once in a while, After Earth was definitely it. The concept behind it, though, was great, that Earth has long since been abandoned and civilization is now adapting to a life on Nova Prime, but an accident sees a father and son crash into a now non-recognizable Earth. 
beasts run wild and the weather is unpredictable, pushing both father and son to their limits. On paper, it sounds promising, but what we got was a terribly acted mess that didn't know what to do with itself. Will Smith is emotionless and his son Jaden is one squeak away from being a dog's chew toy. Then there's the planet itself which seems to completely disregard any laws of logic, having snap freezes that lead to tropical jungles and animals that want to kill unless the plot deems otherwise. Number 3. The Host The host sees the invasion of Earth by a race of parasitic aliens who take control of humans when they enter their bodies. The souls, as they're known, are peaceful and they look after the planet, but as you can imagine, humans are determined to fight back. Now, while it sounds like this would make for some interesting set pieces and possibly a cool statement on what is more valuable, the human self or the good of everyone, it all falls apart when the film makes it very clear that it's got a love story at its core. That's right, in a film about silent invasions, you've got a romance narrative. It all screams of a product which is trying to hold mass market appeal, but it's so watered down on all three fronts it's trying to broach. The sci-fi is swept aside, the action is ho-hum, and the romance is teen fiction levels of awkward. It's a shame, as the original idea is very inviting. Number 2. The Happening This film is rightly laughed at by many. A silly mash of bad acting, confusing dialogue and, at its heart, a really squandered idea. The thought of people killing themselves for no discernible reason is utterly terrifying. Yet the film took this idea and beat us over the head with the message that people are bad and nature hates us. Then there's an odd choice to tell and not show, with multiple action sequences playing out off screen in favour of Mark Wahlberg talking to plants. It's new shades of terrible and has so much stupidity that even Shyamalan's trademark twist can be seen coming a mile off. And number one, Transcendence. This film should have worked a treat. Its central character, played by Depp, is a scientist who specialises in artificial intelligence. But after he's shot, his consciousness is uploaded to a computer and he begins to take over technology. The idea is one that's been done before, but when you've got half the team of Inception working on it, you could have guessed that the film would have turned out a lot better than it did. Where Transcendence really stumbles is when it comes to ambition. The film had ambition in spades, but it got more and more over the top as the runtime went on, resulting in ridiculous situations involving involving organic techno bodies, machine melodrama, and an air of importance that conned you into thinking it was deeper than it was. The idea of a human having the power to infiltrate and control infrastructure on a global scale is fascinating and relevant, considering the technology-fueled society we live in, but the strong premise is wasted on one of the silliest sci-fi scripts in modern history. Hello there everybody, Trek Culture's Adam Cleary here, just to hold my hands up really quickly and say... I've tried. I've tried my best to replicate, duplicate, just outright clone our god editor Chris Thompson here, and I have failed. It's been absolutely disastrous. An affront to God, somebody called one of the efforts. So, do you know what? I give up. We're just going to have to hire a new video editor here at Trek Culture. And if you've been sitting at home watching this glorious channel thing, and pff, I could do that, well, then prove it. Sunshine, there is an email address on screen right now. If you're interested in becoming part of the team, we want to see your showreel, we want to see your CV, we want to hear what you can bring to this channel. And if you're good enough and we like you, maybe we'll get in touch and you too could be editing out the numerous mistakes I make in every single video. So yes, email address on screen now, CV, showreels, etc. Join us here on Trek Culture to boldly... Um, something... Uh, I don't know. Fix it in the edit. Goodbye.